At All Pro Fasteners, our comprehensive quality testing program is one way we stand out from the competition. The scope and operation of our quality lab means buyers can have complete confidence when purchasing any fastener, including those for critical or safety related applications. The wedge tensile test is designed to measure tensile strength, a material's ability to resist being pulled apart. Adding a wedge under the head tests the ductility of the part and tests for potential failures such as laps, seams, and head to shank junctures. The wedge tensile test also detects heat treat problems such as quench cracks, brittleness, decarburization, and undersized thread minor diameters. The wedge tensile test is performed in much the same manner as the full size tensile test. However, four details in the wedge tensile test requirements must be followed carefully in order to provide valid test results. The flat of the hex head bolt must always be across the high point of the wedge angle of the test washer. The corner of a hex head must not be positioned on this point, as this will subject the bolt's head to shank juncture, adding stress that may make it fall below the minimum tensile requirement. This is most crucial in bolts having a tensile requirement of 150,000 PSI or greater. The correct wedge angle must be used. The standard test angles are four, six, eight, and 10 degrees. The selected angle depends on the specification, the bolt's grade, the bolt's diameter, and the distance from the thread to the underside of the head. A 10 degree wedge angle is the most commonly used. If a wedge angle greater than required is used, the test may result in a lower tensile value. Generally, the greater the test angle, the lower the tensile performance of a given bolt will be. The operator testing the bolt must ensure the correct number of threads exposed between the test fixtures is critical. Heavy hex structural bolts, ASTM A307, A325, and A490, must have four full threads exposed between the tensile tooling. All other bolts must have six threads exposed. An exception is made in SAE J429 for bolts between two and a quarter and three inch diameters in length. These are threaded to within two and a half threads of the head and can be tested by exposing only two threads. Deviating from these guidelines can result in erroneously high tensile results. Generally, the higher the tensile performance of a given bolt, the fewer threads are exposed. A bolt screwed into the tooling all the way to the thread runout of the bolt's body will result in up to 25% higher measured tensile values than if the four to six required threads are exposed. 